You going? You're going. All right. Hey everyone. Uh, so today I thought I would kind of talk about if you look at a blank piece of paper or open up a sketchbook and there's just this blank white screen staring at you and you get terrified because you don't know what to put there. Um, when I feel that, I usually just make a really cool background using any sort of art material I have around me. And so today I was gonna show you how to do bubble painting because I think it's a really cool way to fill up a space. And I was doing it with the kindergartners and their reactions were priceless and amazing. So I thought if they really liked it and I really liked it, you probably would really like it. So I'm actually gonna do it on a blank piece of paper first because I'm gonna try it with food coloring. I've done it with tempera paint before, but not food coloring. So I was gonna see if just the regular good old food colorings or the gel food colorings work best. So that's what I'm gonna do first on like a scrap piece of paper to figure it out. So I'm gonna put my sketchbook to the side. And I'm gonna write on here, what are these called? Just regular assorted food coloring and then on this side I'm doing the gel food colorings and we will see which one works best so I've already set up uh, the other I've set up three of them already all you need is some Dawn or any sort of dish soap in there you dump a little bit of water and your food coloring so I actually add the food coloring first the more food coloring you add, the more vibrant the color will be. So I do like about 10 drops. And then fill up the cup to your liking. Again, the more water you add, the less vibrant it will be. And then take a straw and mix up. Make sure it's all incorporated together. And homogenous is the science word. All right, so for the bubble printing. This is pretty easy, but can be pretty messy. So I actually might put a blank piece of paper underneath me as well. This is something I was doodling on yesterday. Um, and all you do, just mix it up just a little bit. And then you blow through the straw until there's like a little dome of bubbles on top. And then you just, I take the straw out to then stamp. So you're gonna see a lot of weird this rich man blowing bubbles faces. This is the only time you can blow bubbles. Not in your milk, not in your sodas. This is the time, okay? Get real good at it. I've got a little dome. Taking my straw out. And then just stamping, make sure I'm stamping on the right side. And stamp down. And it's there. The yellow's pretty light, so you might not be able to see it on camera. But it's there. And if you think it's, if it's too, if it's not vibrant enough for you, just add a couple more food coloring drops to it. But I kind of like it, so. I've also found the more bubbles you blow and the, the longer you're doing this, the more vibrant the bubbles will get because I think it's just like the food coloring mixed up a little bit more. set that off to the side for a hot second and I'm actually gonna now try the gel food coloring. Again, I'm gonna use the same yellow straw for this yellow. But you'll see the gel food coloring I'm finding maybe doesn't have as much food coloring in it, like the dye colors, because this one's more lime green and this one's more like the yellow coming from the pot. So we'll see if it works. It probably won't, it probably might, I don't know. Take your guesses right now before I even start. It's a lot lighter than the other one. Uh, but I'm just gonna sit here now and try to cover both sides up with the bubble printing. We'll see what it looks like at the end.
reasons why you should always have a placement underneath your work because um, apparently bubble printing is a little messy, but I think totally worth it. I really like the assorted food colorings, just the plain ones that you normally get to use. The gel ones were, they're okay, um, but I can see that they're really, really lighter in um, tone. And so they're not really working for me. Even like you can see in the color, the Dawn soap is most of the color instead of the food coloring itself, especially you can see that in the yellow. But here's a fun, quick way to fill up your space and not make the the white paper is scary to draw or paint on top of. So I'll come back when this is fully dry to do a little doodle on top. All right, so here it is all finished dried, the assorted food coloring side and the classic gel food coloring side. And you'll see the differences. I think this green got really, really vibrant because I, when I added more food coloring to the cup, I think it sat on some of the bubbles. So it got really like this really cool, nice, vibrant green. Again, I do like the gel, but I'm not looking for like a pastel background. I wanted a little more color to my background. So I think these are our best bet. And so while this was drying, I did one in my sketchbook to make a really cool background. And now I'm actually ready to like draw on top of this. So I could take like pencil and I can either like follow the shapes of the bubbles until I see something. Like that actually kind of looks like a person with like this, like hair. I could put their ear, and their nose, smile, some eyeballs. Or I can even like take, um, I have like these thin micron pens or like a Sharpie, and I can do the same thing and maybe just trace some of the bubble shapes. And so now I'm not afraid to go right into my sketchbook and start drawing or doodling on top because I now have something to like work with like, ooh, what if I did, this looks like the head of a dragon. And then I can have it come down like this. Ooh, see, and now I'm not as afraid to draw my sketchbook with having this background here because like I could do it. I also could just use it as a background and draw something really cool on top or even paint something on top. So if you have a little art fear and don't know what to do on a blank piece of paper, then just get out a new material and stretch and explore. Try this bubble printing. It's a lot of fun and gives you some really cool shapes to then work with to make some sort of drawing on top. Uh, hope you try it. and if you do let me know leave a comment about your experience and how messy you got and what colors you got to use and go have some fun stretch and explore little artists